Hi everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts, and today I want to do a video on finishing the binding in this journal with the beads. I have a video on starting it on this one and on this one, and it's all the beading, and I have it where I just did the one uh, signature that I put in and showed you guys, but I finished this one and we're going to do a flip through of this one and this one when we're all done. So I figured we'll go ahead and do this one together and I'll show you how to do the rest of this. So please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and you guys to see my next video when I post it. Like, comment and share and let's grow together. We got this one already going and I have all the signatures already together over here. So we're gonna need a signature, a needle and some embroidery thread or just some kind of thread that you want to use. Okay. So I hope you guys are having a crafty day today and getting out your craft supplies and getting some stuff done. So one, two, three. Okay. And I'm thinking I want to stagger the beads. So this one's here. I want to do the next one up top here, and I'll show you. Okay. So this one's going to be my middle of this signature. So I'm going to take it and fold it in half. And I have a video of doing all this, so um, this part I'll probably just fast forward through and you guys can go check it out. I'll put it down below. Okay, so now I do have a little diagram here. And plus I'm gonna do it for you guys, but so since we're gonna wanna tie it off on the top one up here, we're gonna wanna go in. So number one, we're gonna wanna go in the number one top hole. Then we're gonna wanna wrap it around and go through the number two hole. And then go out that one and go into the number three hole. Then back up and through step number four through the number two hole then back outside and tie it and then we'll put the beads on so hopefully that makes sense and I'm gonna show you guys too okay so let's see so we're gonna go in the number one top hole because think about it, if you want wherever you're gonna want the beads hanging is where you want to go in through first and then from there you just got to kind of figure out I'm trying to poke my hole bigger here and then you just need to figure out how to uh, get back to that place if that makes sense okay so we're gonna go in through this hole okay and then we got to get our binding or I mean our signature Sure you're leaving a tail because we're gonna want to tie it at the end here but and put beads on it so just leave a good tail okay and then we're gonna go in through the middle hole okay find your middle hole all right so we went through the top hole, in through the middle hole, and then we're gonna go down to number three at the bottom hole and go back in. I 
I still have to find the hole because the fabric moves a little bit. There we go. Okay, and then in through the bottom hole. Okay, and then back through the middle hole. Don't split your rope there, or your threads. And you'll know when you do, because it gets caught. Okay. There we go. Back through there, and then to finish it up here, we're just gonna go up, and we're gonna tie it. So you're gonna wanna Make sure everything's tight and everything's where you want it because we'll slide it up here and tie it off. So just double check everything. Uh huh. That doesn't look right. That's why you just double check and just make sure. Let's see, that's acting a little weird. Okay, so just hold on just a second and let me double so check. I got it all figured out. Now it's pulling and looking nice here. So just triple double check. You can take off all your clips. it and just tie it up here like that. this is when extra hands will come in handy you know just try to get it tight there we go and I do it like about three times just to triple make sure okay and then, let's see what happens. I'll just check this part real quick. Make sure it's all in there good. All right, so that's looking good. There we go. So now, this part, we're just gonna go ahead and string our beads. And then our beads will be hanging from up here. So that's, how you do that. Okay, I'll grab some beads, get a needle, okay. and then I'm just gonna go ahead and just see which ones look nice and which ones fit, and we'll go from there. And then I'll show you guys how to do the next part of it. Now I want to go through the bottom hole so we can have some beads hanging down here. So what you're going to have to do is I drew out another little diagram. So we did this one, now we're on this one. And you're gonna wanna start wherever you want the beads hanging. So we're gonna start on the bottom, so that's one. Go up, through the middle, two, into the second hole. Then out, and through the top hole, so that's three. And then back through the middle, middle for four. Then pop it out through the middle and go down for five and tie it together. And then we'll hang the beads off of it. So that's one way. And I will show you the same way. Okay, so let's see. Go ahead and get your needle. And I've been using just a smaller blunt needle because I can get the small little beads on here too. Okay, so go ahead and get your thread ready. And this is the same way as the diagram. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, but it's the same way as I'm doing as a diagram. I'm just visually showing you now. So one, 
two, three. We're going to start at the bottom here. And then make sure to get your... Whoops, that's not what I want. We have to get our signature ready, which I have mine already ready. I'm just going to grab it. So I'm just finding the hole. Okay, let's do this one. Go ahead and do this one. So we got our signature. Okay, I'm gonna have to go ahead and get the middle here real quick. So let me get it all ready and then I will come right back. So I got my signature ready and I got my holes poked through. Now we're going to just make sure it's lined up. All right, we're gonna start, I think I need another clip this one's gonna slide so I like to clip them in place just to so they don't slide all over the place while we're doing this okay so let's go ahead and take our needle and we're gonna start wherever you want to we're gonna do it on the bottom but wherever you want to start so we're gonna do the bottom okay and pop it through the bottom hole it because there's kind of little holes in there <laughs> so make sure you're getting it through the right hole okay so start at the bottom leave your tail so we can tie it off and then we're gonna go up through the middle okay through the middle you're standing in your right line here through the top with these fabric covers it's kind of easy to lose your hole where it's at so there we go I gotta line it up This one through just fine. There we go. And then just follow the hole. There we go. Ease. Okay. And then we're gonna go through this hole. side. All right, and then we're going to go back through the middle. Through the middle. And then we will go ahead and tie 
tie it down here. So let's make sure everything's good. Everything where it's supposed to be. Fold those that way, probably. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and make it easy on us. And this is the bottom, so we're gonna go ahead and tie it down here. Just bring it down. Keep it as tight as you can. All right. So there we go. And now we're just going to go ahead and add our beads onto this and do the beads as long as you want. And there you go. And that's your next step. Okay. And then we'll do that. Got that one done down at the bottom and I just did a little bit less beads so it's not hanging and touching you know off the bottom but you can do whatever you want so we got those and we got our signatures in so now you just pretty much repeat the process so I like I said I'll put the video down below where I show you how to do the first one and then it's just I'm just gonna do middle top bottom and then I'll do middle top so I'll do that in the time lapse and show you guys all finished and we'll do a flip through of both the journals. And I will have them in my Etsy shop. So uh, I will get those in there for you guys to come check out. So let's go ahead and just do this part. We got this all done. We got them all staggered out, so I think it turned out really cute. So that's that. And these are both of them. And then there's this one, all finished, with the buttons and the beads. And I'll make sure to put the link down below and you guys can see how I did these. And now I wanna do a flip through of them. And we'll go ahead and start with this one. We'll do this one. And this is just a linen uh, tie on it. Okay. And then if you want, we can just pull it through like that. Okay. And then it has fun little pockets on the front that I did and with the matching that it matches the front of the journal. It's the same kind of material on the inside. And each signature has five pieces of paper. So, and then we got one, two, three, four signatures in this one. So, so 80 pages, two, four, six, 80 pages in it. And it just has some fun botanical stuff, stencils, some music paper that I dyed uh, with the avocado dye. And I went ahead and did some um, writ dye on top of it, just some, just give it a little color. And then a fun coloring page in the middle. And then more stenciling. And then journaling space, lots of journaling space in here. And an envelope, so you got a little pocket you could put stuff in and a little pocket. More coloring pages. So this one definitely, this is the avocado dyed and I have some onion dyed paper too throughout. That I did. And then some fun stenciling. More coloring. 
So that's pretty much through here. So there's a lot of space for journaling and stuff. And then another pocket in the back. And then a fun flip like that. So now with this, when you tie it up, you can either just go right over the top of the beads and just wrap it around and tie it, or you can weave it through the bottom of them and go underneath them and do that. So I'll just go over the top. It's a faster way to do it. And it's got plenty of room to tie more so you guys can expand and add more to it. There's definitely room to grow. Okay, so there's us, this one. And they this one will be in my Etsy shop. And I'll have that one on in its own listing. Okay, and then this one. This is the one we just did, which I think turned out really cute. Okay. And it's the same kind of tie on it. And same over here with the pockets. I went ahead and did the pockets. And uh, some more botanical pages. This is handmade paper that I did with some uh, uh, botanical stuff in it. And some more dyed tea and avocado and stenciling. And the piano plate paper. So it's kind of fun to do that. And then this one has five signatures. And five pages through each signature. So you get definitely some more happening here. Okay, some more stenciling. And then little tabs on it and you can pull it out. Like that. I thought that was kind of cool. Just some more fun pages to play with. You pull that one out. And then tons of journaling space for sure. And some coloring pages. Like that. That one's fun. Avocado dyed. And there we go. You got a little pocket in the back and some nice little flip. So then this one, you can go ahead and take the longer one and just go underneath the beads here. showed you. Well, I showed you guys when I was doing the beads, but this is the whole front of it too. So you got your little cabin and moose and bear and it's a really nice soft material too. Nice soft fabric. So that's what that looks like. And then just wrap it around. And there's tons of room to grow in this one too. So definitely got room to grow in that one and in this one. And there's the back of them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informational and you got a lot out of it. And please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment and share and let's grow together. And keep on crafting, guys. Have a great day.